Hey, welcome back to Waterloo West High School as the West Delaware Hawks taking on the Waterloo West Go Wahawks. Excuse me, the Hawks just finishing up with the Wa Waverly Shell Rock Go Hawks, but the Hawks and the Wahawks getting set to go at it here, and we're on our way here is taking the mat first here for the West Delaware Hawks is Logan Riley, and he's taking on Mason Hubrig. He's a senior. Riley, the junior from West Delaware, still scoreless here early in this match between Hubrick and Riley. Riley with a fall in his first match tonight. Put the Hawks up 12 nothing in that first duel. The Hawks lost, of course, 44 to 27, the final score in that first one against Waverly Shellrock. Hawks looking to rebound here against the Waterloo West Wallhawks. A lot of Hawks in the house tonight between the Hawks, Go Hawks, and Wallhawks. And here's Hubrick trying to come around. Riley, a nice whizzer there. They're gonna go out of bounds here. And we're still scoreless here in this first period as we are back here. Roger Reed, Jamie Vasky, along with you here tonight. Again, Nate Lahr was going to join us tonight, and we appreciate that. But Roger uh, got the night off as the school got canceled today, meaning no middle school meet for Roger tonight. So he's with us, and we appreciate Nate uh, going to fill in for us tonight as we get you set. Still scoreless here as we... Move along, 30 seconds left in this first period between Riley, Logan Riley, the junior from West Delaware, and Mason Hubrick, the senior from Waterloo West. And a lot of hand fighting going on here between these two. As here's Riley with an underhook trying to high crotch, and he slips, and Hubrick's going to come around behind him for a two-point takedown. As it's two to nothing here, as Hubrick takes the lead. With 15 seconds, got to stop the clock. With six seconds left now as it looks like Travis Pike might try to add a few seconds here as he's just gonna wait a little bit after this match or this period resumes to get it underway yeah, Jamie that was short time again you know we talked about that in the first match with Wade with Sharrock I'm sure that'll be that'll be on the uh, coach's notes to you know know how much time is left in the period know the situation know where you're at so you don't give up those. That's a that's a huge two with about eight seconds left to go in the first period. It's going to be uh, Hubrick's choice. He's got the green leg band on. He's going to defer over to Riley, and Riley's going to choose down. <clears throat> this Hubrick is physical, very very quick on his feet. There's a nice inside stand up by Riley. Nice standing switch. Oh, off the edge of the mat. Nice standing switch by the junior from West Delaware. Boy, he got up to his feet, that was a nice job. See if he comes right back up. Inside stand up by Riley. Hubert tries to drop in, he picks up a single. Hard wizard now by Riley. Hubert's gonna move him back, back trip. Riley back up to his feet, there's gonna be a one point escape. Boy, that's a great action right there. So one that point was escape textbook there. there. That was Hubert dropping in on a single, switches over to a double. And uh, Riley's going to find himself up in that single one more time. He goes over the head of Hubrick. I'm not sure you want to do that. And that's right, why right there, because you get a back trip, and then you go back down. Hard cross face by Hubrick. Boy, from left field to right field, right across the cheek. And he's got Logan Riley in a cross face cradle. And Riley's got a post to keep from being turned. Boy, he came with that hard, hard cross face. And uh, Riley's going to try to keep from being turned here. Hubrick's got to go hip to hip. Riley's doing a nice job basing out here. But Hubrick's going to try to get hip to hip and uh, dump Riley over with it. Riley's doing a great job. He gets his hand free. This could be trouble for Hubrick right now if Riley can break his grip. He could pick up two on the reversal. He popped his leg out, got his head out. Now he's That's behind two. the arms. That's two by Riley. Should be two. Oh, now he's going to try to roll through. And boy, oh boy, no change there. Again, a little impatient. Boy, he probably got his arm out of that cross face cradle. Then he tried that. He got his, he has leg, leg trapped to the inside of Hubrick. Tried that chalice, tried to roll through. And uh, nice sag by Hubrick, so no points there. It's still, that's you know, four to one. Four to one. Of course, Waterloo West head coach uh, Brett Whelan uh, formerly uh, wrestled at West Delaware, graduated, and uh, 
Always fun to see him in this first meet of the year, coaching against his old team in the West Delaware Hawks. And, of course, uh, a lot of people from Manchester know Brett's younger brother, Brooks, is a writer and a uh, cast member on Saturday Night Live uh, this past started this season. So uh, kind of cool for that. But I tell you what, uh, Brett's done a good job with this program over here in Waterloo West the last couple years, trying to bring it back to where Waterloo West wrestling was. Well, he's got number, good numbers out. You're looking down across the lineup, and the chairs are full. Um, they do have an opening at weight one, at 126, but I wouldn't be surprised if he moves moves somebody up. We're going to find out if they move somebody up to take on. they got somebody dressed over there. We'll see if they take on uh, Sam Phillips at 126. Riley now with a nice inside wrist on Hubrig. Trying to tilt Hubrig. He's got 1,001 count. Good hand control by Hubrick. Hubrick's going to pick up a one-point escape off the edge of the mat. Going back the same way. Phillips, that was a nice, uh, Riley, that was a very, very nice tilt. And he just didn't keep his hips tight enough. And Hubrick was able to wiggle out of it, but no points as they went off the edge of the mat. Hard shot by Riley. Stand up by Hubrick. He's going to split the hands of Riley. He's going to pop his hips out, hip heist, now front headlock. Now he's going to whip it through and he's going to pick up a one-point escape. Five to one now for the senior from Waterloo West. Pretty impressed with the senior so far. Doing a nice job. Logan Riley's got a minute and 19 seconds to find uh, something that's going to work against this. Now there's a front headlock by Hubrick. Short drag by Riley. Should pick up two here as he's got Hubrick on his back. There's two and two. Got to be two and two. Now Riley gets high with the legs. Got the takedown, he's going to give up two. So it should have been a takedown and two. They got six to three up there. They've got to fix that score. I think the score is wrong. We'll wait and see. They just gave Riley two on that. 48 seconds left to go. Again, Jamie, that's another one of the situations they had. They were in the position to get back points, and they just got a little impatient. Yeah, you get, and when you get in that situation, you really got to settle in. And we've talked about... You hear the phrase a lot in wrestling, settle in, settle in. And that, all that is is just taking your time, making sure your moves are set up in order to, to continue and, and pick up those near fall points and give that official time to get around there and see it. Well, you're exactly right. And again, that's, uh, that's first, first meet jitters. You know, we've got 35 seconds left to go. It's seven. It's seven three. 7-3 right now, 25 seconds left to go. And uh, Riley, Riley trying that inside stand-up, and Hubert catches him in a cross-face cradle once again, and Riley finds himself having to base out so he doesn't get turned over. 12 seconds left to go. And uh, Huberig is going to hang on to that. He kicks his leg free now, and that's going to be a 7-3 win by Mason Huberig, and that's going to put the Warhawks up early 3-0 and we'll see uh, we get a solid match uh, Hubrick, Hubrick's going to win a lot of matches there Jamie I'm pretty impressed with that movement again you have that opportunity to uh, score some back points and just get just a little bit impatient and we'll see Coach Whelan playing the uh, Houdini here with his lineup. I don't think gonna he's, he's not going to gonna send anybody out yeah. here. Going to forfeit to Sam Phillips. Okay. So now we're going to send uh, Connor Wickman. Jaden Bartz. Yep. Jaden Bartz is a sophomore. Connor Wickman is a senior. So, Jamie, just looking out here, I would have to say that Connor Wickman would have to be favored, but you just kind of never know. Connor Wickman gets a takedown in two seconds, two and a half seconds. Oh, I didn't give him the two. Had Bartz sitting on his backside. He shot right on the whistle. And let's see if he gets in one more time on that. Well, that was a quick tap and go. There's a fireman's care. Let's see if he keeps the arm this time. He does. And he picks up two. And he's still got the leg trapped of Bart's underneath. And let's see if he can flip him to his back. 
He got that arm. He got in on that fireman's carry. That arm was just a little bit loose, but he covered the hips and picked up two. And now he's trying to set up the cross face cradle. Bartz, Jaden Bartz, a sophomore. Connor Wickman, a senior. Seems like Connor Wickman's been around for a long time, Jamie. He's been in that lineup for a long time for the West Delaware Hawks, and uh, he's won some big matches over the course of his career. Now he's got a chicken wing in on Bartz. Chicken wing on the right. They're going to try to stack him up with it. And Bartz tries to crawl forward out of that chicken wing. Wickman, if he wickman has got to get an inside wrist on the left. Bartz is posting with that left. Wickman's going to try to stack him up. And now Wickman steps over to the far side. He's going to try to dump Bartz to his back and off the edge of the mat they go. One minute and three seconds left to go in this first period. Starting to wait class 120. With Mason Hubrick picking up a win and then Sam Phillips picking up a fall. There's a nice stack by Wickman. And he's going to pick up some back points on Bartz. Not going to get the fall here, but he's going to pick up at least three back. Two back, it looks like. Referee's down counting. Now let's see, he scoops that arm out. He's going to go to a farmer. He's going to throw Bartz to his back. He's going to get off the legs. He's got Bartz to his back. High bridge is Jaden Bartz. I'll tell you what, that was a that was way up in the air. Wickman's got to load that up and tighten it back up. Bartz is going to try to go belly down. He's got 27 seconds left to go here. And Wickman right now is belly to chest. He's got to get his chest back. Yeah, that's what Coach Voss up out of his chair. Said chest to chest. There's the fall right there, Jamie. 144. The senior from West Delaware, Connor Wickman, winning by a fall in 144. That put the Hawks back up on the board by a score of 12 to 3. So, uh, Jamie, you talked about the last meet. Uh, Waverly Sharrock had two majors, and West Delaware didn't have any majors. And that's a category that West Delaware hardly wins is that major decision. And, you know, you see it right there. Connor Wickman couldn't let him up. And, but what's, what, the Hawks do a good job. Once they get the opponent on the back, they pin him. They really do, and they're pinners. And that's how, you know, the West Delaware's uh, really done a great job in these last few years. And you see it in not just the last few years, but for a while now. When they get them on their back, they like to pin them. you got to go after there, and that's the mentality you've got to have uh, when you get someone on your back is I'm going to pin him. And that's what the Hawks do. And the... Uh, they, they go right after it. Well, we're at weight class 138. Bo Vasky taking on the senior, Sean McKnight. So we got two seniors going at it. There's a high crotch by McKnight. Got in deep on the legs of Vasky and picked up the early two-point lead. I think caught Vasky kind of by surprise here. Boy, just came right in with a high crotch and uh, picked up the Picked up the leg and uh, scored two. And there's the whistle to start to get this restart. There's a nice stand up by Vasky. McKnight tries to come with a cradle. Vasky catches the hand, puts over the top. Now there's Vasky in with the high crotch. And he's a shoot of Kelly off that. Dive right back in on that fireman's. He's got an overhook. Vasky with an overhook on the right side of McKnight. McKnight with an underhook. Vasky backs out, so he's going to re reload it here. Set that shot up. Vasky with that staggered stance, leading with the right leg. And there's McKnight back in on that low single. Boy, he got right to the laces of Vasky. Vasky in a hard down block. Vasky in a hard down block as McKnight controls that right leg. Got to watch that knee. Vasky now with an underhook to the right side of, of McKnight. You got to watch it. Usually you end up giving up two here. Vasky needs to come with a switch, hard switch here. He's got to stuff the head of McKnight, get it to the outside. Nice job by Vasky so far. He might end up picking up two on the counter. McKnight now pulls his head out to the right side of Vasky. Vasky now sitting to his hip. Got to get back up on top. Vasky trying to put a cross body right in and pull his hips up. McKnight hanging on to that left toe of Vasky. Might get a stalemate right here with uh, 15 seconds left to go. Vasky now could pick up two. Boy, Vasky on his stomach could pick up two here with four seconds left to go. It's three to two. Nice job. Boy, finish it. Finish it right there. Coach Wheeler a little up, upset with his wrestler. Very demonstrative. Brett Wheeler there, Mr. Vasky. 
very demonstrative Brett Whelan he came out onto the he came out onto the maroon part of the mat I'm not sure that you're supposed to do that he wasn't real happy no he was not so Bo Vasky finding himself down to start this second period he is up three to two a takedown by McKnight an escape by Vasky and a takedown by Vasky now McKnight's going to work on that ball and chain. He's got the right arm of Bo Vasky trapped underneath. 135 left to go, second period. Vasky frees that right arm. I'll tell you what, McKnight is riding tough on top. Vasky's hips plastered to the mat. And now here comes a cross body ride by Sean McKnight. Vasky's got to get up to that tripod position. Got to get up just a little bit higher. Might have a tripod roll here. We do by Vasky. Vasky's going to try to cut the corner on it. Pick up two. McKnight trying to re-switch. Vasky now trying to high leg over him. And McKnight does a nice job countering the high leg. So we've got to uh, go back to where we started with Vasky down. McKnight on top. Good scramble right there by both wrestlers. Locked hands by McKnight. That's going to shoot. Might be a one-point escape by Vasky. That's going to be a technical violation by McKnight. He locked the hands up on Vasky. Wow. Well, 4 to 2. 4 now. to 2 right now, you bet. Vasky in some tough matches here. Winning first round 3 to winning in uh, against Waverly 3 to 2. He's in another dog fight with a good senior here from Waterloo West, Sean McKnight. 44 seconds left to go, 4 to 2. Vasky down. He got to score another point here at least. Hard cross face by McKnight from left to right, trying to trap that right arm of Bo Vasky. Vasky now with an outside stand up. Hard cross face by McKnight. Takes Vasky back down to the mat. 27 seconds left to go. Vasky now hips still down to the mat. McKnight riding parallel. Our referee there telling McKnight to get off to the side. Hard cross face again by, by McKnight. To try to set up that cross face cradle. 12 seconds left to go. You don't want to give up any points here. McKnight's got the cross face cradle locked up. Don't want to give up two here. And Vasky does a nice job breaking the cradle. One second, that's going to do it. We're going to go to the third period with Vasky hanging on to a 4 to 2 lead. It's going to be McKnight's choice. Vasky takes a peek at the clock. Sees that he's still up 4 to 2. McKnight's choice. He's going to go down. And McKnight set. Vasky's going to ride the right side. There's a hard switch by McKnight. Hip heist. And he tries a headlock on Vasky. He's going to pick up the one-point escape. Now it's four to three. Well, Vasky's got some work here to do. An underhook now by Vasky on the right side of McKnight. Front headlock by Vasky. Boy, he tried to go to the cross, uh, cross knee pick and missed it. A nice go behind by McKnight. He's going to pick up the two. Vasky's going to try to switch. Let's see if he can pull himself around to pick up the one and two for a three-point move. McKnight locked his hands again on Vasky. Vasky's got to pull himself up. He's going to get one for locking hands. And he's got to stop it right. Referee's got to stop this. He's not going to stop it yet. Vasky's going to try to pull himself up. And a referee still holding the one point up. 107 left to go. McKnight is up 5-4, to four, but actually it's tied 5-5 five to five as Vasky's going to pick up a point for locked hands. And now we're going to get a one point, and now we're one. Okay, so an escape by Vasky. Vasky now goes up 6-5. 6-5. to, five. Six to five. 58 seconds left to go. Here's that situation. Here's that situation you work on in the room, Jamie. You're up by one with a minute to go. You're neutral. Lock, locked hands, one point escape. Okay. All right, six five. Fifty eight seconds left to go. Okay, now if you're Bo Vasky, Jamie, you got to move your feet here. You yeah, can't you be know, a standing target. You know, you still got to be aggressive here and and take good shots, and that's what Bo's going to do. He's going to dive in on a leg. He's got a minute left and try to score some more points and really try to salt this thing away. They got a score here. They hit a nice low single. He heads to the inside. You got a score. He tried to elevate. Hard whistle by McKnight. Vasky keeps a hold of that single. You got to watch the headlock by McKnight. 
Got to keep that head posted. 33 seconds left to go. Vasky back in on the single. You don't want to give up two here. Vasky hanging on to the single. Hard wizard by McKnight. McKnight tries to spin around Vasky. Got to watch that knee. Over and under by McKnight. 19 seconds left to go. Neutral position, front headlock attempt by McKnight. Vasky finds the edge of the mat. Vasky dives back in on a single. 12 seconds left to go. Now you gotta move your feet here. McKnight slow to get up. 12 seconds, 12.6 seconds left to go. Gotta be careful here, Bo Vasky. You gotta move your feet. Low shot, hard shot by McKnight. Seven seconds left to go. Front headlock by Vasky. He's over the top, four seconds left to go. Two seconds, McKnight tries to roll through. Vasquez gonna pick up a late two-point takedown, making the score eight to five. Woo! Another tough match by Bo, Bo Vasky. Eight to five, let's take a 30-second timeout, catch our breath, we'll be back with Mason Steffen. You won't wanna miss it. Stay with us, you're listening to Hold by Hold Wrestling Action right here on Mix 94.7 KMCH. Manchester. Welcome back here to Waverly Shell Rock, or Waterloo West High School, excuse me, as West Delaware back at it. Mason Steffen looking for a fall here, a quick takedown and a drive cradle here as he's taking on Cody Rodebush, a sophomore, and Steffen still looking for that fall. Well, that was a nice snap down, Jamie, to a front, uh, front cradle, a drive cradle, and uh, that's just what the doctor ordered right there. But he's got his hips a little bit high. He's got to get his chest back. He's got that locked up. He's got to post that forehead and go just a little bit wider. Now referee down there looking tight. Again, he's got a lot of time left. He's got 45, there's the fall. One minute and 20 seconds. 120, Mason Steffen will win by a fall. Had to do a little crowd control, Jamie. Okay. Had to do a little crowd control up here. Uh, I saw that. I didn't see the se I well, didn't see the second I, one come over. I tolerated the first pop bottle that went by my face. <laughs> but the Gatorade bottle to the shin, half full Gatorade bottle to the shin, I was not going to tolerate anymore. So we had to do a little crowd control. We can't have you injured on the first night. <laughs> <laughs> got to call I don't them know down. If KMCH workman's cup <laughs> covers. <laughs> covers water bottles to the shin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, anyway, Well, let's go to weight class 152. We got uh, Tim Tutton up. He's taking on Noah Dahl. So we got two seniors again. And we'll see if Tim Tutton can uh, tighten things up in this match. Boy, he was in great position against Waverly Shell Rock. And let's see if he can tighten some things up. Did some nice things. And there it goes to an outside single, high crotch, and Dahl counters it. And now we've got an over and under throw or be thrown here. Got to be careful. Tutton's going to try to throw Dahl and he does. Hits him with the lateral drop. Tim Tutton felt the pressure. He picked up two on the takedown. Let's see if he can pull him on. And Dahl's going to roll out of it. Boy, a fall would have been huge right there. Now he's got a chicken wing with a half Nelson. He was cranking the, cranking the head of Noah Dahl. And Dahl winced a little bit. Uh, Showed a little bit of agony with that chicken wing and half Nelson. And here's what here's what we talk about, uh, Jamie. Uh, Tim Tutton getting patient, being patient. You know, working through some things. Tighten things up and then throw them to the back. Finish things, but that'll come. Well, uh, more practice, and, and that'll come. Nice head lever to a chicken wing on the left side. He's got an inside wrist on the right. He's going to crank it over. Now here's that patient. Drive it forward to the ear. And Dahl does a nice job working his way out of it, but Tutton keeps the chicken wing on the left side. He's still got it locked up. Keeps that inside wrist. He's got 15 seconds. Of course, some more back points would be huge here. Now he's walking to the ear, doing a nice job. He's getting some back points. Could be a quick fall here. He's got seven seconds left to go. Let's see if he can readjust. Dahl tries to roll through. Tutton readjusts. And that's going to do it right there. First period, nice first period. Picks up three more near fall. And it's eight to zero. And our referee is going to go over and have a conversation with uh, Coach Whelan. Not sure what about. There's a lateral drop to to uh, five-point move. And then a nice chicken wing. 
And I think uh, Coach Whelan is asking for the same. Dahl never got off his back. Well, it was two different pinning combinations, and that's what he's showing him right there. Two different pinning combinations. And uh, Tim Tutton's getting a blow here as uh, Brett Whelan asked for a little clarification. And he's going to get it. Again, yeah, West Delaware leading this dual meet 21 to 3. 21 to 3, the score in favor of West Delaware as Logan Riley loses in a tough one to uh, Mason Hubrick, 7 to 3. Sam Phillips won by forfeit. Connor Wickman won by fall. Bo Vasky won a close match, 8 to 5. And Mason Steffen winning by fall in 1 minute 20 seconds. Thank you very much. As uh, got some waters brought up to us here. That'll, that'll make up for your, uh, trying to make up for your injury there. But And we're back to work, Timmy Tutton, with another takedown here. Yeah, that was a nice escape. Tutton came to a nice escape and picked up the one, and then he dropped in on a nice single, switched off to a double. And uh, tell you what, that's, that's what you like to see. You know, Jamie, we're seeing that first match. We, you know, we saw why uh, Waverly was, was ranked number three. And, uh, you know, we're seeing some pretty good wrestling here by West Delaware right now. And uh, Tim Tutton going back to work on that chicken wing. And let's see if he can take that to the ear again. he got a chicken wing on the left. Dahl does a nice job of getting his hips back up. And Tutton's going to have to go back to work. Now stand up by Noah Dahl. Tutton's going to have to drop in on a double. Nice hip heist by Dahl. Down block. And Tutton finds himself down on the mat with his head down. And here's a double underhook by Noah Dahl. He's going to try to launch Tutton. And he might pick up a two-point takedown. No, he picks up a one-point escape. Tutton's going to, as he tries to throw, Dahl tries to throw Tutton. And Tutton comes out on top of it. He's going to pick up two for the takedown and no back again. Boy, he had two back. That was about a one and, one and three-quarters count. Now he's got a chicken wing on the right, a half Nelson on the left. This could do it right here. That's in deep. Could get the fall right here. He's got 21 seconds to hold it. There's the fall right there, Jamie Vasky. Three minutes and 40 seconds. 342. 342. Tim Tutt with the fall over the senior from Waterloo West, Noah Dahl. That's what you like to see right there. Good action. Got that chicken wing tightened up. Loaded it up threw a half Nelson in and I'll tell you what that was that was tight we got Rick Coleman in the house Jamie we'll have to watch uh, Channel that. 7 News tonight to see some highlights we might be home by 1030 see some highlights well, you know I'm gonna have to eat <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be pushing it well but yeah that's exactly right all right weight class 160 Jake Voss Let's check the skinny out on. He's taking on Jelani Goodson. Jelani Goodson. And a boss with a uh, standing butcher on Goodson. Goodson, another tall and lanky, 160 pounder, very quick. Boss comes with that throw by. And he's going to slap Goodson on his back. And Goodson's going to slap uh, Voss with a headlock. And Voss has to fight out of it. And Voss is going to pick up two on the counter. That was throw or be thrown right there, and Voss got the best of it. I tell you what, they had the uh, Warhawks up off out of their seats there for a minute. That was uh, pretty uh, pretty close. Voss goes to work now on that chicken wing on the left, inside wrist on the right, drives Goodson off the edge of the mat, and they're going to have to get a restart. Jake Voss very physical on top, and uh, I'm telling you what. Uh, He's tough. He's a tough rider. He's one of the best. And he goes to a hard, tight waist. Goodson coming to a tripod stand-up. And uh, Voss is going to go to a bulldog. And he's going to drive Cradle Goodson up. And he's going to slap Goodson to his back. Goodson tries to bench press Voss up. That's going to be the fall right there. That's got to be a fall. Voss is going to try to tighten that up, go chest to chest. He lifts the head of Goodson up. Now he's going to hip him to his back. Tell you what, that's a Kodak moment right there. 45 seconds left to go. Boss trying to get this done early uh, for the West Delaware Hawks. There's the fall right there. One minute and 31. 121. 121. Jake Voss winning by a fall. 121. Put, gives the Hawks six more. Let's take a short timeout. We'll be back with weight class 170. And Brett Lammers, you won't want to miss it.
Got more action for you on Eastern Iowa Sports Station, Mix 94.7 KMCH. Hey, good evening, wrestling fans. Welcome back to the Waterloo West Wahawk Gymnasium, and we've got uh, action for you. First meet of the year, wrestling action. I'll tell you what, weight class 170. That was uh, Brett Lammers in on a double. Hard down block by Diedrich Jordan. Lammers climbed the body, tried to bear hug him. Jordan hit him with a headlock, and Lammers had to roll through, and he picked up the two for the takedown and the three near fall. So Lammers up now 5-0. Tell you what, that throw, Jordan, Jordan with a nice headlock, had Lammers on his uh, back just momentarily, but had the uh, Wahawk crowd to their feet. They haven't had a whole lot to uh, cheer about so far as uh, West Delaware is up 33-3 to at this point and looking for some more. Lammers riding that inside wrist on, on the junior from Waterloo West. It was a nice sit-out turn in by Jordan. He picks up the escape, shoots a double, nice sag by Lammers, and he's got Jordan on his back for the two count. Jordan rolls through, so a four-point move by Lammers. So Lammers now goes up 9-1. to one. So taking advantage of those big moves to score some big points. This Jordan is very explosive. And boy, but talk about tightening up some matches. He is very, very explosive. 35 seconds left to go. Lammers now out to the side. Goes underneath. Traps that right arm. Pulls it underneath. He's going to try to set up maybe a cross-face cradle. He's got to be across the face. Not sure what he's going to try to do with this. Maybe a butcher underneath. Jordan is doing a good job posting. And Lammers has to get that right shoulder to the mat. 14, <coughs> excuse me, 14 seconds left to go. And maybe Lammers will be content to ride Jordan out. Now spiral right on the right side. And Jordan comes to that sit out. Lammers is going to pick him up and throw him into the chairs. Tell you what, he threw Jordan right on his left shoulder. And uh, they got those chairs right on Matt's side here. So uh, Lammers picks up Diedrich Jordan and slaps him into the uh, Wahawk bench. Two seconds left. That's going to do it. We're going to go to the second period. Brett Lammers up 9-1, to one, working on a major. He'd like to end this thing right now with a quick fall. Let's see if he can get it done. And that, and that was. That was a good period by Brent there. Uh, you know, especially after his first match, he got majored 13 to zero. Uh, you know, that's that's you got to come back from that, and Brent did a good job of uh, having a good first period there. He's going to get the one point escape to start this period, and uh, hopefully go back to work on his feet. Yeah, that was a very nice. Uh, we didn't mention the new singlets that they've got this year. Well, I, I was wondering if uh, I was wondering if those were new. It's um, kind of like good. the orange ones. It's the reverse of the orange ones from last year. They've got black with the orange WD and Hawks across the back. I believe last year's the Hawks went down the back. This yep. year they go across. Yeah, they're very stylish. So they must have about four different singlets now. So uh, got those championship white singlets and got those camouflage orange ones we saw a couple times last year. All right, 10 to 1 now. Neutral position we go. And if you're Brett Lammers, well, you got to stay low level. Jordan, uh, I'll tell you what, he's got, some, he's got some happy hips here. And he is a very, very good upper body wrestler. So if you're Brett Lammers, well, you got to watch that tie up. And there's a nice throw by, by Lammers. That's what you do right there. And off to the hardwood floor we go. Jordan finds himself on the hardwood. Lammers on top of him. Nice throw by, by Brett Lammers. And again, if you got somebody that's going to throw you, Jamie, that's a good counter to that headlock right there. Launch him on, launch him to the hardwood. Low shot by Jordan, a nice, uh, 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 well, a nice throw by again by Lammers, and this time he picks up to two. He's 12-1 now as the score. He's working on a cross-face cradle, and he's got it locked up. Oh, he doesn't have it locked up. Boy, nice cross-face from right to left. And he, was, he was trying to lock it up, and Jordan, very powerful hips. Jordan doing a nice job stretching out. Lammers not able to lock that up. Guy's working on a cradle over the top. Now he's got a tilt. He's got to tilt Jordan. Got 1,001, 1,002 here. He's got to pick up three. Now he's got to pick up two. Let's see if he can lock it up. He's 
got 15 seconds left. We're probably going to have to go to the third period. Up now, 14 to 1. Yeah, he might turn him one more time. Looking for the technical fall. Three seconds left to go. I believe it's going to be Jordan's choice to start the third period. Let's see where he decides to go. Yeah, I think he's got to go down or neutral. He's going to go neutral. So a takedown by Lammers is going to end this thing. Lammers is going to try to end it with a takedown. Maybe something to feet one. to back. You know, try to end it. Still got a chance to pin him here if you can go feet to back. So I'm, I'm sure that's kind of in the back of Brent Lammers' mind here is, you know, a takedown wins it, but some feet to back could, you know, make something happen here, maybe get six. And you also got to be thinking for Brent Lammers, you don't want to get careless here because uh, Jordan does have a good headlock. You know, don't want to get, don't want to get, uh, you want to set up that one good shot. He's in deep, outside single. Jordan trying to pull himself around. Jordan might pick up two there. They gave him two. He's got the cross body right in on the right side of Lammers. He's got a power half Nelson on the left. So it's 14 to three right now. Jordan's hips are down. Lammers is trying to get out of this. Nice power half Nelson by Jordan. Lammers now with his hips up. He's gonna try to pull himself out the back side. If he can keep that arm, he's gonna have Jordan to his back. And he's gonna pick up two. One. That's gotta be two. Oh, he's gonna give him one. Now I gotta go back to her feet. 15 to three. <clears throat> 15 to three here. 102 left to go in the match. Again, you know, you know, Jamie, you're, you're one point away from ending it. And now you got to keep wrestling. Or actually, a takedown away from ending it. There's Jordan in on Lammers. Oh, a little bull rush there by Jordan. Knocks Lammers off the edge of the mat, so we're going to have to circle back in. 48 seconds left to go. A lot of straight pressure by Jordan. Maybe a sweep single here by Brent Lammers. <laughs> 15 to 3 is our match score. 33 to 3 is our meet score. Hard collar tie by Lammers. Lammers dives in on a single. And once again, they go off the edge of the mat into the Wahawk bench. Got JV matches still going on to our uh, on our mat to the left. Got some good action going on there. Here's that West Delaware is up 27 to 3 in JV action. 25 seconds left to go. Collar tie by Jordan, retie by Lammers. Lammers working for inside position on their feet. There's a, there's a single by Lammers. He's got to cut across to a double. And that's a nice job right there by Lammers. Now he's going to drive Jordan to his back. He's going to be picked up too. This is going to end up being a technical fall or it could be a pin, Jamie. That's feet to back. That'll work. Jordan trying to wiggle, trying to fight out of it. Regardless, it's going to be a 20 to three win and a technical fall. I gave him two, 19 to three. 19 to three, Brett Lammers with a technical fall over Diedrich Jordan, the junior from West Waterloo. That's a solid job, good match there. Let's take another short time out. We'll be back with weight class 182 and Corey Russell. Stay with us, you're listening to Hold by Hold Action right here from the Wahawk Gym on Eastern Iowa Sports Station, Mix 94.7 KMCH. Back here at Waterloo West High School and the West Delaware Hawks with a commanding lead here, 38 to three. There are meet score here and Coy Russell up for the Hawks taking on Dan Calzadias. That was good, Jamie, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm assuming the L's are silent, kind of yeah, like yeah. a quesadilla. Yeah. So we'll go Calzadias and Coy Russell quickly out with the takedown and he's gonna turn Calzadias to his back and there's a fall, very quick fall. 57 seconds. 57 seconds. So good start there for Coy Russell again. Uh, he's coming off of a loss in his first match to a good, very good Isaac Miller. So a nice job by Coy there. Yeah, that's a nice job. He got in on that double. You know, that's just that's just a good football player right there. Got in on that double. Finished it. Ended up with a wing and a half. And a loaded, loaded Casadillas right back up on his backside and uh, that was two pretty good sophomores going at it, and Russell got the best of him. So that's going to make our team score 44 to three here in favor of the Hawks. As uh, we're going to see a good one here, a good wrestler here for the Wahawks, Marcus Harrington. 
well, defending state champ, ranked number one in the state in Class 3A. We he hasn't lost a match for 365 days. That's very. That's <laughs> correct. As Jason Goble beat him in the first meet of the year last year, I believe that was here, wasn't it? That was here. That was here. Yeah. I don't think. Were you and I both here? Yeah, we were both here. I don't remember. Yeah. Anyway, it was a good match. It was and, a really uh, good match. He had, like you said, has not lost a match, and he's going to get a quick takedown here on Scott Taylor. Yeah, Marcus Harrington is the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. He's physical, and uh, tell you what, he's got uh, Scott Taylor 30 seconds. That was a snap down. That was a snap to a front headlock around the head under the arm. And, uh, you know, Scotty Taylor's wrestled, you know, they're going to give him the Courage Award tonight. He's wrestled. He's wrestled two of the state's best. And uh, I think uh, Harrington is going to Iowa State. I think you're right. So. 44 to 9. That was uh, very impressive. And uh, Scott Taylor, you know, nothing to be. Uh, no, you've wrestled two of the state's best right there. Kyler Matthews up now against Will Wenger for West Delaware. And taking yes, on right. Kyler Matthews, ranked number two in the state. Oh. In class 3A. Maybe. <laughs> I think you're right. So. Again, Waterloo West having some uh, very good upper weights. So um, they will not win this dual meet, but they're going to try to make it interesting. The Hawks have this sewn up. It's 44-9 to nine with uh, four matches left. 220, 285, 106, and 113. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here at weight class 220. Will Winger taking on. Kyler Matthews, he's a senior and uh, there's Matthews with the snap and spin, Will Winger got his pressure going forward, just a little too far forward and Matthews just snapped him down and then uh, hit him with a go behind, now he's got a cross body right in on the left side of Winger cross body right on the left side, power half Nelson on the right side, he's applying a lot of pressure to that shoulder and neck of Winger, now he's going to cross face and try to try to uh, turk him over he's going to pick up some back points here as he's got the cross body right in. And he hooked that, he went to cross face from left to right and hooked that far arm of Will Wenger and picked up a three point near fall. It's now 5-0 in favor of Matthews from Waterloo West. So uh, West has some, uh, you know Jamie, they, they've got an opportunity to, to get some guys to the state meet and, and do some things, pull some hardware back. There's the legs again by Matthews, and he comes to power half Nelson on the right side of Will Wenger and picks up another three. Now the score is 8-0. Four seconds left to go in this uh, first period. That's going to do it for the first period. So let's see whose choice it will be. And it's going to be Winger's choice. No, it's going to be Matthews' choice. He's going to defer over to Winger. And Winger's going to take up. Good choice, I would say. So we'll see what happens here. All right, Matthews set. And there's a set out turn in to a switch by Matthews for a two point reversal. And he's gonna try to put the cross body right back in on Winger. Winger catches the left leg this time. And no cross body right for Matthews. Now Matthews stretches Winger out, puts a cross body right, gets the leg in. Power half Nelson, he's picking up back points. It's 10-0. Matthews could pick up the fall as he readjusts himself. That puts a half Nelson in from the right side, and he's going to try to tee out on Will Winger. And Will Winger in a high bridge, posts his elbows. Matthews doing a good job scooping the head of Winger. 118 left to go. Winger doing a nice job fighting underneath. Matthews working a half Nelson. How did this period start? Started with uh, uh, so just a reversal. And, yeah, just okay. a reversal. All right, and there's a the foul right there, Jamie. Two minutes and 57 seconds. 257. Number two ranked Kyler Matthews winning by a fall, and uh, well, he's pretty good. Might see him later on somewhere down the line. And I know uh, he. Point? I think he placed 
right up there last year in the state tournament. Yeah, he was a runner-up last year in the state finals. Oh. So he was a runner-up, and well, there you uh, go. of course Harrington won that won the title last year. They make well, our, our team score 44 to 15 now in favor of the Hawks. That's going to bring up Richard Hevron and Ben Lenskow. Lenskow. So the, we'll see. We'll see what uh, the big guy from West Delaware can do here. This looks like two offensive linemen going at it. West Delaware black singlets with the orange WD outlined in white on the left side, wearing the red leg bands as uh, they're the visitors of this dual meet. Lenskow with a hard collar tie, a lot of pressure on Hebron. And Hebron's coming with an overhook. Hevron with an overhook on the right side of Lenskow. And Lenskow loses his headgear momentarily. And Hevron goes back to work. Nice job controlling hands. He's got the wrist. He's going to try to throw that off to the side. Nice job. Applying a lot of pressure forward, side to side, working the head, working hand control. He's got a two on one Russian tie. Hevron does. Lenskow doing a nice job now trying to short drag Hevron. Overhook now by Lenskow on the left side of Hevron. Hevron now has got to try to lift that. Double underhook now by Lenskow. Hevron trying to work his way out of it. 54 seconds left to go. And a nice job. We got a head. We got a headgear malfunction from Lenskow. And he's got to get that readjusted. Jamie, I think the overhooks, underhooks for Hev Hevron would be. Uh, no, he's got that, if he gets that underhook, he can lift that and just drop in on a single. Now he's got an overhook, Lenskow with an underhook. Hevron with an overhook on the right side. He'll wing that down and snap Lenskow down. I think he can just wing that down. Now Lenskow gets rid of the underhook. And there's a short drag by Hevron. Nice job there with that two-on-one Russian tie. Tries to drag him by. 24 seconds left to go. Push pull, pummel position, both wrestlers. And uh, Jamie, for not wrestling, uh, you know, not too bad. No, he's, you know, and that's the thing is, you know, he, he kind of stepped up. I think the Hawks were looking for a, uh, uh, just a, a big body to come in here and wrestle heavyweight for him this year after Dean Broghammer leaving, graduating. So, uh, you know, Richie's going to, he's going to, he's going to learn. I tell you what, he's, uh, yeah, he could have benefited from uh, he could have benefited from a year of work with uh, Breth and Broghammer. But you know, he's a senior, he's out, and that's a, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Heaven's choice is going to defer over to Lenskow. Lenskow is going to choose down. Coach Voss says, hey, break him down and let's see. This will be a big time win right here. It's 0-0, no points in that first period. Nice job with the inside wrist. Going to try to lift Lenskow to his back. He's got Lenskow going to his back, Jamie. Let's see if he can finish it up. Oh, I lost the arm. Go back to work on that arm. Now he's got a single. Got to be careful here. Cradle him up with a wing. Man, he's learning right now. A lot of good hip pressure there. Hook the arm. Hook the arm. He's going to circle the head. He's got Lenskow on his back. He's picking up some back points. Let's see if he can tee out. He's got to drop his hips back, drop his chest back. Nice job. He's got a half Nelson. He could get a fall. There's a fall, Jamie Vasky. Two minutes and 42 seconds. 242. Richard Hebron right there with a the fall. Tell you what, that's the way to get her done right there. That's a nice job. It's a great win. Get your first varsity win and on the opening night and you know he, he wrestled Caleb Stack in that first one who's a very good wrestler for Waverly Shell Rock so nice job there by Richie coming out here and getting getting a big win. Well West Delaware is going to give up a forefoot here to Gabe Elifritz and Gabe looks like he wanted to wrestle he's a big 106 pounder I can tell you that Gabe Elifritz is and now we got top ranked Patrick Woods taking on Nick Brockman 
This is going to be a tough match right here. I think was uh, Brockman a state qualifier, Jamie? Not sure. I can't remember, but that name sounds uh, that name sounds familiar. We'll find out here in a second. Maybe we won't find out. Patrick Woods in a snap down. He's got that uh, drive cradle locked up, and he's going to try to take Brockman to his back. Now he's going to scoop the leg of Brockman, and now he's going to try to stack him up right to his back. Maybe I was thinking of another Brockman. It's Patrick Woods right now, top ranked in class 2A. He's got Brockman stacked up in that cradle. And let's see if he can score the points with it. Now he's going to step over his head. He scooped the leg off that drive cradle. And now he's going to try to scoop the head of Brockman. He's got it stacked up. And Brockman bridging, rolling off his back. Woods has him locked up. Get on this side, Mr. Fischel. He was buried on this side. Fischel was kind of out of position to call that fall. Woods had him buried. Woods had him buried right there. There's the fall right there. He slapped her good that time. 57 seconds. 57 seconds right there. That match is over. That is history. And a Patrick Woods two for two tonight with two first period falls. So let's take a short time out. We'll tally up the uh, results. And we'll be back with you with some highlights. Stay with us. You've been listening to Hold by Hold Action right here from the Wahawk Gym on Eastern Iowa Sports Station. Mix 94.7 KMCH. Back here in Waterloo, Iowa, as the West Delaware Hawks take care of the Waterloo West Wahawks. 56 to 21, the final score in that dual meet. As right now, we are joined by head coach of the West Delaware Hawks, Jeff Voss. And coach, uh, let's go back, start with that first duel. As that first duel, you guys lost to Waverly Shell Rock. Third ranked in class 3, 44 to 27. And, you know, this we've seen this in the past for Waverly Shell Rock. Uh, you guys have gotten big leads on them, and that's what you have to do. You got a big lead early. You guys were up 18 to nothing, but uh, when they get to their upper weights is where they're really strong. Well, if you're going to win a dual meet, you got to win at least eight matches, and we won five. Uh, you know, it's kind of what I talked to the guys about uh, in the locker room is, you know, are there three matches there we can win? You know, there are three matches there we can win. And uh, the other thing is uh, they, uh, you know, I think they pinned us five times four times in that duel and uh, you know if you uh, if you win three more matches you don't give up as many pins you got a chance of beating one of the top teams in uh, I, probably the entire state you know I don't think it's just 3A They're, they've got a really good team and they got good individuals and uh, you know if you can learn that in the first duel versus um, you know five duels from now uh, you know the, the whole thing with this year's team is going to be progress and improvement and and uh, uh, wrestling one of the top teams in the state right out of the bat and uh, some of the top individuals uh, in the state right off the bat uh, you get an opportunity to learn those things right away instead of waiting a couple weeks and this early in the season it would have been easy for some of those kids who lost in that first duel to come back and uh, be down on themselves but they really did a good job of coming back after those first first duel losses and, and putting up a good a good fight against Waterloo West. Well, yeah, and in the first duel, I don't think there was a single kid out there that quit, you know. I don't think it was a matter of effort and attitude. Our effort and attitude was good. It's just that a lot of our guys have never been in that situation against one of the top, you know, in a varsity match, let alone against a top-ranked kid. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, th these guys just need matches under their belt. And I'd rather have matches against some of the best kids in the state than I would, uh, you know, a bunch of kids that uh, they're going to just go out and, you know, pin right away or walk all over or whatever. So, you know, I think we got we, we got what we wanted tonight. Uh, obviously, we want to try to win two dual meets, but uh, um, I'm pretty happy with how things went. Well, in that second duel, you guys got seven pins, mm -hmm. uh, only giving up two, and which is which is good, but those two pins were the two really good kids. And then you guys had a technical fall in there and won 11 matches. So um, a, a good turnaround for you guys in that second duel. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, some of the, um, you know, it was good for some of our inexperienced kids to say, you know, I can go out there and win some matches, and uh, not everybody's going to be uh, like Waverly, but uh, our goal is to beat teams like Waverly, so we, we got to keep seeing those type of teams, and uh, we're going to see them again this weekend. Uh, you know, Davenport Assumption is one of the top teams in Class 2A, so, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to see that type of competition uh, week in and week out with our schedule, and that's what we need. Well, Coach Voss, you got a short turnaround. You got three practice days before that tough tournament on Saturday. What's 
I, I saw you taking some notes over there. What's on your agenda? What, what are a couple things that, that you're going to take from this meet tonight that you got to work on so that you get better for Saturday? Well, I think uh, all the things I wrote down are, are things we teach our, our youth wrestlers. You know, it's just all fundamental stuff. And, and uh, when you get out against some of the best ki teams, kids in the state and teams in the state, you know, it isn't some wild move or, or you know, it's just all fundamental stuff. You know, getting hand control on your stand-ups, getting back pressure, uh, moving your feet when you're in your stance. You know, it's just real little fundamental things that uh, those are the keys to winning big matches against great kids. And, and uh, you know, so that's what our focus is going to be on. It's just focus on fundamentals, uh, put them in situations they were in tonight, uh, and, and let them wrestle live out of there so they get a feel for the for the situation because that's what a lot of them are missing. So, um, yeah, we got uh, we got a practice tomorrow morning and we got three after school this week to get better for uh, Saturday and and uh, that's just going to be our game plan. We'll talk about the quality of the competition on Saturday. Jamie and I we haven't talked too much about it tonight, but uh, uh, that's going to be one of the very tough early season matches uh, at the uh, Bob Murphy tournament now. Uh, on Saturday, talk about some of the level of the competition you got coming in there. Well, we got uh, Davenport Assumption, who's uh, you know, if not the best, maybe one of the top two teams in Class uh, 2A. Uh, Decor is going to bring a lot of good kids. They've got a, you know, they've had a solid program for a long time. Now, I don't know much about Fairfield or Waterloo East, you know, as far as what they're going to get or bring, but uh, generally they at least have a couple good kids. And uh, you know, the nice, you know, we only have a. a uh, 16, five teams in the tournament, but we're going to wrestle four times. You know, last year we had some kids only wrestle once to get to the championship round. So there's going to be uh, four rounds of wrestling, and uh, we'll get four matches if there's four in the bracket. Uh, so, and, and that's what our that's what our team needs right now. We just need matches, and matches to uh, to work on stuff and get better at. Well, we'll be there, and uh, we're looking forward to some really good wrestling on Saturday. So. Uh Coach, uh, thanks for joining us uh, tonight and spending a few minutes with us. And uh, we'll get back to work, and we'll look forward to seeing you on Saturday. All right, sounds good. Thanks for covering the meet, guys. And, uh, boy, we had a lot of people out here tonight in Waterloo. Uh, you know, and the journey begins today. And, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, when we're talking in a couple months, we're a lot better than we were tonight. So, Outstanding, outstanding. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the head hawk himself, Coach Jeff Voss, off uh, a one-on-one -one night, a very good opener against uh, – uh, very good Waverly team uh, doing a great job uh, putting their best foot forward uh, in this early meet and then uh, taking down the Wahawks, uh, the host Wahawks here uh, by a solid score of 56 to 21. So uh, that'll be just, uh, that just an outstanding uh, show uh, tonight. Outstanding display of, of wrestling. Well, let's run through this uh, second match very quickly. We start off at 120. Logan Riley losing a hard-fought 7-3 decision to Mason Hubrig. That put the Wahawks up 3-0. Weight class 126. Sam Phillips winning by a forefoot. That put the Hawks up now 6-3. 132. Connor Wickman with a takedown winning by a fall in 144. Put the Hawks up 12-3. Weight class 138. Bo Vasky another tight six-minute match. He won the first one by one point. He wins this one now by three. Eight to five over Sean McKnight for a 15 to three Hawk lead. 145, Mason Steffen making short work of Cody Rodebush, winning by a fall of 120, making the score 21 to three. 152, Tim Tutton doing the same, winning by a fall in 345, making the score 27 to three. 160, Jake Voss showing why he's highly ranked, making short work of Jelani Goodson, winning by a fall of 121, making the score 33 to three. <clears throat> 170 saw Brent Lammers go the full six minutes, win by a technical fall, 19 to three, over a very pesky J Derek Jordan. Lammers could uh, just could not uh, put uh, Jordan away to that third period, 19 to three, winning by a technical fall, making the score 38 to three. 182, Corey Russell getting his first win uh, of the year with a fall in 57 seconds over Dan Casaldias, making the score 44 to three. 195, Scott Taylor. Tell you what, uh, uh, Jamie, uh, Coach Voss was correct there. Scott Taylor, 195, uh, wrestling the number one ranked Marcus Harrington, losing by a fall in 30 seconds. And then against Waverly Shellrock, he wrestles number six, Thomas Foy. So uh, Scott Taylor, give him the badge of courage tonight for uh, taking on two highly ranked kids and putting, uh, putting a good fight in, but losing both matches. That made the score 44 to nine. Will Winger taking on number two ranked Kyler Matthews, losing by a fall in 257 making the score 44 to 15. Weight class 285, Richard Heveron 
getting his first win on the varsity level, winning by a fall even in 242, making the score 50 to 15. And then at weight class 106, West Delaware gives up six to Gabe Elifritz, making the score 50 to 21. And then at weight class 113, Patrick Woods making short work of Nick Brockman, winning by a fall in 57 seconds, making our final team score 56 to 21 in favor of the West Delaware Hawks. West Delaware wins 11 matches, loses four, no major decisions for either team. West Delaware has seven pins, Waterloo West has two. West Delaware has one technical fall to Waterloo West, a zero. In the takedown derby, West Delaware getting 13, Waterloo West getting six. So, uh, Jamie, that's the way you get the job done. Well, it certainly is. Well, that's going to do it for us here tonight. Uh, let you know that we are going to join Iowa basketball in progress, uh, just in progress when we get off the air here. Let you know what's going on the rest of the week. Tomorrow night we'll have Hawk, Hawk Talk with uh, Dolph and Coach Fran, Mc, Fan, excuse me, Fran McCaffrey as the Hawks take playing tonight. And then Thursday night we got West Delaware Boys Basketball versus Denver at 7.30 with John Swisher and Corey Coates. Then Friday, we've got area girls, girl boy basketball doubleheader as Maquoketa Valley is at Edco. And that will start at about 6.15 with John Swisher and Bill Logan. And then Saturday, we've got the area, first area co winner sports coaches corner of the season. John Swisher will catch up with all the basketball coaches. I'll catch up with Coach Boss Saturday morning. And then we'll, we will be back for the Bob Murphy Invitational starting at around 11 o'clock, somewhere in there for that tournament. Uh, as it will be a, it'll be a round robin tournament, uh, so no seating meetings there uh, for that tournament there. So uh, a little different setup for the Bob Murphy Invitational this year, but it'll be a good one with West Delaware, Davenport, Assumption, Decorah, wa and wa Waterloo East and Fairfield. So uh, we've got you covered here with KMCH Sports. It's the winter sports season, and we are set and ready to go uh, in full action here as we get you roll you through your basketball and wrestling seasons. That's going to do it here for us. As uh, Roger, I'd like to thank Dennis Robertson for running the board for us this evening. I'd like to thank all the sports boosters for getting us on the air tonight. Most of all, thank you, the listeners. As uh, For my partner, Roger Reed, this is Jamie Vasquez saying good night from Waterloo, Iowa, as the West Delaware Hawks go 1-1 one one on the night as they lose to Waverly Shell Rock 44 to 27 and defeat Waverly Sh or Waterloo West excuse me 56 to 21 and don't forget when you tune us in we're going to turn you on to the best wrestling in Eastern Iowa right here on Eastern Iowa Sports Station Mix 94.7 KMCH good night everybody you've been listening to West Delaware